1.6 is on the phosphorus cycle. The goal is the same as the last two, to be able to explain the steps in reservoir interactions in the phosphorus cycle. You can see the sources and sinks, um, kind of similar to nitrogen. You have uh, phosphorus is important in our proteins, our DNA, and so on. So we, re we uh, require plants to be able to assimilate these phosphates into their roots, and then we have to eat those things to get the phosphorus in us, and so on. And you have decomposition is important. The newer thing with the phosphorus cycle is that there is no atmospheric component. There is just, it's all in like the rocks and the water, and so it's a very slow moving cycle. And also because it's such a slow cycle, phosphorus is a limiting factor in biological systems. And what that means is, is it determines the rate of growth in that biological system. So if you have a lot of phosphorus then, you're going to get a lot of growth. And this becomes an issue with our fertilizers. So our fertilizers contain both a lot of nitrates and phosphates. And we apply them all on our, on our crops and stuff, but to such an excess that it doesn't take all of that into the roots before it gets washed away. So we have runoff going into a body of water, and what happens is these nitrates and phosphates cause this algae and phytoplankton to grow and grow and grow and grow, which is an issue in itself because it's got this big blanket of green algae nastiness, but the big issue is when they die. When they die, they become uh, decomposed by aerobic bacteria. And aerobic bacteria means that they need oxygen. That's what the aerobic means. It means oxygen. So if they need oxygen in order to decompose all this algae, and there's a lot of that algae, they take up all this oxygen in their, in their body of water. It leads to what we typically call dead zones, but really more appropriate name is hypoxic zones. Hypoxic just means lack of oxygen. Dead zone is kind of a confusing term because it's not everything is dead. If you don't need oxygen, you're cool. But the things that we definitely want in that, in that body of water needs oxygen. All right, not very long, just on the phosphorus cycle, which really isn't a big thing. Big things to know from this is that it doesn't have an atmosphere component and then it plays a role in algae blooms. So now it's your turn to explain the steps and reservoir interactions in the phosphorus cycle. And I would, I would stress those two points about the no atmosphere and algae blooms.